Chair. I want to set the stage. My question goes directly to Mr. Weston. Right now, we're not just going through unprecedented period of cost of living crisis. We have families going into your stores, looking at the price of items, looking at them and putting them back because they can't afford them. We have families that are struggling to buy food for their kids in this country, in a G7 country. And they look at you and they see you making record profits. How could you justify that when families are struggling to put food on the table for their kids? Thank you. Um, you know, we feel uh, and understand that 95% uh, of Canadians are concerned about food prices. Um, but grocery chain profits um, are not the reason for food inflation. And as I mentioned... Profit is too much profit. Well, so a company needs some degree of profit. Uh, Record you know, profits to more than you've ever Mr. made? Singh, ever? I'm gonna, Mr. Singh, I'm going to stop you there. Of course, your time is your time. And I can appreciate that. But we've invited, in fact, we've summoned these witnesses to come here. You ask a question. All, every member of this committee is expected to be able to hear the response. Sir. And I need you to certainly be a little bit more mindful of making sure that is. I know it's your time, and I'll give you that discretion. But please don't cross lines here. So back to you. How much profit is too much profit? You're making more money than you've ever made. How much profit is too much profit? We're a big company, and the numbers are very large, uh, but it still translates right down to the bottom line at $1 per $25 of groceries. And if you consider our growth, growth in profit in 2022 is 25 times lower than the unprecedented increases in costs that are being faced by the industry and by the world. And the fact that we have lower food price inflation in Canada uh, than in so many other parts of the world World is in part due to the high functioning of our food system here and in part to the, the, to the meaningful sure. effort that is being made by the grocery store industry um, to keep prices as low as possible. With respect, Mr. Weston, you, you mentioned this $1 per grocery bit. We can put a fact in front of you. Your company is making $1 million a day in excess profits. No one feels sorry for your profit margin when you're making a million dollars, not just in profit, in excess profit a day at the same time that Canadians are experiencing the most unprecedented inflation in their lives. How can you look a family in the eyes and tell them that that's OK, what you're doing is OK? I had a, a conversation with a customer in a store just the other day. Um, she came to me and she said something similar. She said, how can you have such exorbitant profits? And I sat down. I didn't sit down with her, but we chatted uh, for about 15 minutes. And I explained, uh, you know, what I'm explaining here to the committee. And she, she understood. Um, and she said, she said, OK, I didn't realize that. That's not the way it's being characterized, um, you know, when I read the Globe and Mail or whether I re when I read the Toronto Star. And I, and I said, yeah. I, I said, look, I, I'll all I can tell you um, is that these, this is the truth. This is what, what's going on. And if we invested, uh, if we didn't raise retail prices as costs went up, um, we would, the companies that we operate um, would disappear um, almost, uh, almost I instantly. Um, and that's why this point about low profit margins is so important. A hundred percent of the total profit of the industry could go into lower food prices and the price of a grocery basket for that customer who I spoke to would, own, would still be $24. How, and that's not to say that? it's not important, but, it, it, but our, our ability to, to affect this change is limited. That's that's why we need all to How work do you square together. that? How do you square what you're saying with the fact that you're, you're experiencing unprecedented profits while people are struggling? How do you square that with the record bonuses that you and, and your colleagues are receiving? How do you square that with the excess profits that you're making per day? How do you square that with the record profits you're making year over year? How do you square that? It doesn't add up. Mr. Weston, people, I've got 2,000, more than 2,000 people who submitted questions saying we are struggling while you're making these record profits. That explanation does not give any solace to the people that I've heard from at all. Well, I, I understand how difficult it is for so many Canadians, and that's why we're taking decisive action within the constraints of what uh, you know we're actually able to influence. We stopped $500 million of unjustified cost increases um, you know, in our organization. We offer the lowest prices in the market in our discount stores like No Frills and Maxi. Uh, no Frills is recognized as having the most trusted prices in, in the country. We ad match uh, in our large store formats on every single ad that is available in the market. 
market so that customers don't have to shop around from one store to another to make sure they get the best that, value. That does We are fix actively the losing money on core commodities. Um, you know, milk, vegetable oil, butter, uh, certain cheeses, um, and all kinds of items in every single, every, every day of the week. So we are working hard on behalf of Canadians. You, you've still not been able to answer this basic question. Then when a family that's struggling right now looks at your profit, you know, how much profit is too much profit? How much is enough? Like you're making more than you've ever made ever, ever. And you're not, you've not contradicted that point because we know it's true. How much profit is too much profit? At a time like this, when Canadians literally are saying that they are struggling, how much is too much then? Like for, for you, is there no limit to how much profit you can make? That, that at the, on the backs of Canadians that are struggling because they can't afford the groceries? There's no limit? Reasonable profitability is uh, is an important part of operating a successful business. Um, I think at a dollar out of twenty five dollars of sales, that's reasonable profitability, and it's worth mentioning. You know, big numbers. Um, you know, in large enterprises like ours, I, you know, let's say our profit, um, you know, was in and around one point nine billion dollars last year. Very big number. Over $2 billion is going to be reinvested back in this country, back into supermarket or back into new stores, new infrastructure, to creating jobs. It's not just about profit. It doesn't go to me. It goes, the, it goes back into this country. Um, so if you have reasonable, so question, if you have reasonable for, profit no, levels... Actually, and you gentlemen, have, and sorry, you, we're going to have to leave it there. I'll let you finish your, your thought, Mr. Weston. Unfortunately, we're at time. Mr. Singh, I even gave you a few extra seconds to, to try to make sure that was finished. Mr. Weston, if you'd like to finish out that thought... Uh, and then we're going to move on to the next round. I would, I would simply say that our profit levels are reasonable um, and we are working hard to lower prices for Canadians in every way that we can. And the profit that we do generate, we reinvest back in this country uh, to create more stores, more services, 